ClipX is a clipboard history manager. As the website says, it is sweet, it is free, use it. The basic gist of it is that it allows you to copy something to clipboard and keep a history of that so you don't lose everything but the very last entry to the clipboard. Let me give you a little example. Let's say you're planning a trip to New York so you're pulling up pizza places because you want to try the New York pizza on Yelp. So let's say we grab the phone number so we can give them a call, make sure they're providing the best pizza, and then we copy their address. And of course, if we're planning this trip, we're going to be staying in the Ritz-Carlton. So we can grab their address at the Ritz-Carlton, and then we want to get directions at Google Maps. So you use the keyboard shortcut, in my case it's Control-Alt-L, and we paste in the location of the pizza place, I think that's pizza place, then the Rich Carl, and we get directions. Then we want to give a call to the pizza place and you just type three, oops, now one, okay, and there you go. There's the phone number. And then let's say we're writing an email to our friend Bob. And we can put there and we can give them the phone number if they want to give it a call. Put back in the parentheses we lost. And then we can go back and say, oh, and by the way, here's the URL for ClipX. So the convenience becomes readily apparent as you use it more and more. You realize that the clipboard can be a kind of a little storage space and there are ways to make it even more useful. There's a plugin that I use called Dislog that stores everything that goes through ClipX. Now let me be sure to remind you that that needs to be uh, taken good care of because that file can contain very sensitive data. You may have passwords or credit card info, other valuable information that you don't want to get into the wrong hands. So be sure to keep good track of that file, but it can also serve as a sort of mini backup of anything you're writing. If you're writing an important email, you can just copy to the clipboard and you know that it's saved for good. So it can be very handy. I do that with journal entries. I'll just copy them after I've written them, just in case anything happens. You've got a, a copy that, you know, a redundant copy there. So it's, it's useful for that purpose as well. Another way that it can be used is when you're copying things that have formatting and it can clear it out. So for instance, if I'm going to copy this text, if I just copy it directly, then I'm left with this and you can go down in here and say keep text only, but that's not always possible depending on on where you're doing it at. If you're using ClipX, you can simply paste it out and it will filter it through as text. And so you can be left with just the plain text. Oh yeah, it was already Times Roman. Let's do a new one so we can see the full. There we go. So then it's left with Calibri. So there's actually utilities out there. There's one called Pure Text that does this as its sole purpose. There's another or other ones that you can use, but it's kind of a handy feature within ClipX to clear out formatting in your text if you want to paste it somewhere else and you don't want to mess with the formatting. So that's yet another benefit, good reason to use it. And as far as the features of ClipX, in addition to what I've shown you, you can search the clipboard and it does a live search so if I want to look for New York it'll show me all the entries there immediately you can also manage the entries so if there's something that is sensitive and you want to delete it you can get rid of it that way you can also combine entries so for certain entries that make sense to be together you can combine those and it'll add a new entry there you can 
also, and I don't really find myself doing this, but you can save a history out to a file and then load it later in time. So maybe if you're working with a whole bunch of data that's all relevant and you don't want to lose it, you could save it out and then bring it back at a later time. You can also clear out the entire history or just bitmap entries because those are going to be the ones taking up the most room. And then the configuration is pretty straightforward. You can remember a whole lot more than just 25 up to 10,000 or 1,024. You can, so I have it ignoring bitmap because I find I just use the text entries, but you can use bitmaps and file lists as well. You can manage those. The hotkeys, I find myself only using the paste menu and I have control alt L for that. You can also have paste the last one and pop it off, meaning it will remove it off of there. And there's a whole bunch of other options here that you can look into and use if you're so inclined. These are just where the pop-up goes, uh, what the pop-up selects. So the second to last or the last, you can configure that. And then the width, how wide it's going to be. The plugins that I mentioned is disk log. And as far as its options, it just has the location of the file and whether or not it's enabled. So if you are doing something sensitive, you could go in here and disable it temporarily just to avoid that. I find myself just keeping it and I make sure to keep that file locally so it's not going to get out anywhere. And then there are other plugins that you can use. You can browse through to see if there's anything else that makes sense for you. ClipX, any clipboard history manager really is extremely useful. It's something that you wonder why it wasn't built into Windows. But once you start using it, you'll find yourself using it even more and more. And as I mentioned earlier, it is sweet. Use it.